Hey everybody, how's it going? Stabman coming right back at you, and today I'm going to be talking to you about some Blu-rays and one DVD that I got from Disney. Yeah, so three of these are actually titles that I managed to pick up for free because they recently had a sale on their Disney Movie Rewards site. I'm thinking actually because they changed the name and the function of Disney Movie Rewards. And right before they changed the name, they had this big old sale on a bunch of their stuff. I think they might be starting to get rid of their freebies on that service. Because it's no longer called Disney Movie Rewards, and there's not even really any mention of rewards. And the way they paint the new service is that your points, you'll still have them. But it doesn't sound like they're going to be used for anything that you get for free. So, I don't know what's happening there, but if they do take away my free movies... I mean, I already have to save up quite a few points just to get a free movie, and then you're going to just take them away? But regardless, I managed to get three more movies here from their freebie section uh, with my remaining points. So... I'm not too beat up about it. Anyways, uh, I decided to pick up, first and foremost, James and the Giant Peach. I think I may have already had this, but this one was on sale for like $6.99 or something crazy like that. And I was like, you know what? It's not every day that a Disney title goes on sale for that price. And I'm, pr I'm like 90% sure I don't actually have this one. When I tried to put the code in on Disney, they said I had already redeemed James and the Giant Peach, so maybe I do, but if I do, I have no idea where it is, so, and I don't remember buying this one, so, I mean, my memory does suck, but I don't know if it sucks that much. We'll see. But anyways, uh, James and the Giant Peach, I enjoy it enough that I wanted to have it on Blu-ray in my collection. Next up, I got Celebrating Mickey, which I decided to get because... It's only 13 cartoons, yes. They're like 13 of the uh, most popular Mickey cartoons from the earliest days of Mickey to... I don't know which one is the old, the newest one, but you know, there's a bunch of classics, a bunch of uh, popular ones in here. And it's kind of like what they did with their collections of classic cartoons on DVD in the past, and even before that... They had collections of classic cartoons on VHS. But this would be the first one that they've done so far on Blu-ray that has all the classic... Uh, has a collection of classic cartoons from back in the day. So if you're like me and you love those classic Disney cartoons and that's kind of one of the things you think of when you think of Disney, then you owe it to yourself to get this just so that you can have some of those classic cartoons in high definition. And notably, most notably, this one has Steamboat Willie, the classic, the most popular Mickey cartoon ever, I think I would say. But it also has Mickey's trailer. I remember, or maybe it was, yeah, it was Mickey's trailer. That's one I remember a lot of because I remember the all the visual gags of the trailer, like... You know, extending as it goes up, up the mountain and down the mountain and all that stuff. And, yeah, it's just a great visual gag cartoon that I remember seeing quite a bit. Because back in the day, guys, when Disney Channel first came out, I begged my mom to get Disney Channel. And she relented eventually and got, got it for me, I think, for my birthday one year. And at the time, it was a channel that you had to pay extra for. It was like HBO, so you had to pay extra for it. And one of the things they had was like during commercial breaks, they would show like classic cartoons and stuff like that. So I wouldn't just watch for the shows, although there were a lot of shows on there that I enjoyed watching. I watched for the cartoons because they would always have classic cartoons on randomly throughout the day. And um, that's how I got to see a lot of these classic Disney cartoons when I was a kid. So, glad I can finally see them again in high definition here. And 
I kind of want to support that because if this does well, then they're going to do Donald Duck. Then they're going to do Chip and Dale. They're goofy. You know, they're going to do all the other classics. So, if it, I really hope that the, this does well, and I hope you guys support it in whatever way you can. Yes, it's only 13 classic shorts on one Blu-ray, but also, I managed to get this direct from Disney for like 8 bucks. So, it's not too much to pay. It's not too much to ask for. Alright, next up... I recently picked up, I don't think I showed this in a video, but if I did, well, then you already know. But if I didn't, then you should know I got a, the, a Goofy movie on Blu-ray from Disney Movie Club. I am a Disney Movie Club uh, subscriber, and I really enjoyed it. I never liked the second one, the Extremely Goofy movie. Never been a fan of that one, never thought it was any good. Uh, tried getting into it, but never could. For the longest time, I was like, I like a Goofy movie, but I don't like Goof Troop. But then I remembered, you know, there were some episodes of Goof Troop that were pretty good. Maybe I just forgot or didn't get to see all the episodes or maybe even missed a few that I would have liked, you know, because I didn't really watch it a whole lot back when it was first on. So when this went down to 11 bucks, I decided to get it. I mean... 54 episodes of Goof Troop, the first and second volume of Goof Troop on DVD for 11 bucks. That ain't bad at all. That's a very good deal right there. So I went ahead and did that. I don't know if there are any other episodes of this. I That might be the full season series. I don't think it is, but if uh, anybody out there does know, please let me know. Now then, the last three that I got here were the free ones that I managed to pick up when they put them on sale. So the first one was 400 points, and that would be The Rookie. I know what you're thinking. Yes, it's a Disney movie. No, it's not the kind of thing you think of when you think of Disney movies. But I'm a huge baseball fan. Most of you know that. If you don't, then hi, I'm a huge baseball nut. Uh, I collect baseball cards, so... Yes, I'm a baseball guy, all right? And this is one of those baseball movies that I felt like was pretty good. I don't think it's, like, the best baseball movie ever, but it's a pretty damn good one. So definitely one I wanted to have in my collection, but I didn't want to pay a whole lot of money for it. And even now, sometimes it's hard to find this for under, like, nine, ten dollars $10. So to be able to get it for 400 points on Disney Movie Rewards for free, that's pretty good. I mean... That's basically you pay for three Disney Blu-rays and then you can get this one for free. That's how good those deals were before they made the change from Disney Movie Rewards to something else. And as a matter of fact, to prove my point, drive the point home further, this next title was also 400 points, Tomorrowland. And I have heard mixed reviews on this. A lot of people say it's crap. And a lot of people say it's amazing and underrated. But uh, I'll stick with my friends on this one who say it's amazing and underrated. Uh, I really didn't know anything about it. And the reason being that the description tells you nothing about this movie. It really tells you nothing. Dreamers Wanted. Disney invites you to an incredible world of epic imagination where anything is possible. Buckle your seatbelt as the director of The Incredibles takes your family on an action-packed thrill ride. Join former boy genius Frank, optimistic, science-minded teen Casey, mysterious Athena, and the brilliant David Nix in a world of pure Disney imagination. Tomorrowland transports you on an inspiring and magical journey to wonder and adventure of wonder and adventure to a place where you can if you can dream it you can do it okay that tells me nothing about the movie it's a bunch of freaking platitudes there's nothing there that sounds like anything other than a freaking advertisement there's no concept of a plot there there's not even a thread of a plot described in that description it's the worst description I've ever freaking seen for any movie ever put on the back of a freaking case by the developers of the freaking film. Like, or by the, the, the producers of the film. Disney. So, 
Yeah, but regardless, I've heard many great things about this, so I definitely want to give it a chance, and since it was only 400 points, again, that's like buy three, get a fourth free. Uh, yeah. Getting this one for free? Hell yeah, I'll do that. And last but not least, this is one that I was not expecting to like after it came out, but then I sat down and watched it with my family, and while I was watching it, I came to the conclusion, hey, this is actually a really good movie. It's a really good adaptation of the original film. They've been doing all those remakes, you guys, and this is one of them. Beauty and the Beast, the uh, quote-unquote live-action remake. Really enjoyed this one. Felt like it was a great adaptation of the original film. It really felt like the, the animated film come to life in a lot of ways. Now, there were some things missing from... Uh, this film that were in the animated film, but nothing that really detracted too much. So, very much enjoyed it and wanted to get this one, but didn't really want to pay a whole lot for it. And this is one that a lot of people liked, so I didn't expect to be able to get it for a halfway decent price for a long time. And then it was on sale for like 900 points. And sure, it's more than the 400 points from the others that I got, but 900 points. Uh, I had the points, so I was like, go ahead, might as well do it while it's on sale. And, yes, very happy to have gotten this for absolutely nothing. For free. Great stuff there. So, yeah. That is that. That's everything I picked up from Disney recently. All right there in a row with the DVD right in the middle, like a heathen. But, uh, yes, very happy with those pickups. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Catch you later. Peace.